Hi everyone, this is Robert with GoldSilverPros.com and this is the weekly market wrap up for February 10th, 2019. I want to start today by looking at the stock market and I've added some additional indicators to it here. As you can see, we've been in an uptrend since basically the beginning of the year, but it's been a rather weak uptrend. And I have the, the Dow, the NASDAQ, and S&P 500 here graphed. You can see the uptrend basically since since right after Christmas, right near New Year's, but it's been a weak uptrend. So I've graphed out here volume. You can see the volume was strongest on selling towards the end of the year, right around the Christmas time frame. And then, and then the selling kind of slowed down here, sort of the, the market day after, and then we've had some buying, but it's been rather tepid buying. You can see that all the buying in this recovery is underneath all of the selling that has occurred for basically the entire fourth quarter of 2018. Not only that, but there's an oscillator here, which is showing that, that the rate of which the buying has occurred is underneath the norm for the market. You can see right here, since the recovery has occurred, the buying has been tepid, the overall rate. And then the rate of change was strongest actually on the selling towards the end of the year. And then the buying has been under the mean or under the middle for the most part with a couple of little blips here and here. So this is not what I would call a strong recovery on strong buying in the market. It's a basically a really soft recovery. And I'm going to go into in this video why we're having a soft stock market recovery. And it's not really that strong recovery that you'd look for if we were in the next uh, bull leg of a stock market, uh, bull market cycle. So here's a report from FactSet basically saying that the S&P 500 now projected to report a one-year or I'm sorry, year over year decline in earnings in Q1 2019. So that means Q1 2019, we're gonna, the earnings are gonna be weaker than they were in Q1 2018. And as you can see, we've had about a 4.1% drop off in the quarterly earnings per share so far from all the companies reporting in the first uh, quarter, first month of the first quarter. So it's been down basically uh, since Q1 of 2018. Q2 of 2018 started the downtrend and it's been down all the way through quarter one of 2019. So that's earnings per share for about a year has been down. And that's why you see the stock market making a very tepid recovery, not really a strong recovery. I don't think there's going to be a lot of consolidation. I don't think we're really looking at the stock market that's going to shoot up another uh, thousand points or an, another 10% really quickly. It's a, it's a really weak recovery. Another chart here that FactSet has printed is S&P 500 estimated earnings growth rate quarter one 2019. You could just see it falling off. Since September 2018 to February 2019, you can see that the rate has actually fallen negative, negative 0.8% in the overall estimated earnings growth. So again, it's been weakening and it hasn't just been weakening since September of last year. You can see it weakening since quarter one of last year and we had a 4.9% print. And now we're at a negative 4.1% print. That's almost, that's about a 9% uh, flip from this time last year. And you show that the economy is really not strong. Here's S&P earnings growth quarter one 2019 from FactSet showing through December 31st and then today. So December 31st are the gray bars here and then through today are the blue bars. And you can see that with the exception of utilities, it's pretty much that through today, uh, through the first month and a half or so of the year, uh, that the earnings growth is actually weaker than it was up through uh, December 31st. So again, that's another sign that the earnings per share or the earnings of these companies are slowing down. I've got another report from FactSet, which is showing uh, the earnings season update as of February 1, 2019. The other article, I'm sorry, was February 4th, 2019 as we look at it, so just a couple of days after. It says, to date, 46% of the companies in the S&P 500 have reported actual results for quarter four, 2018. In terms of earnings, the percentage of companies reporting actual earnings per share above estimates is below the five-year average. In aggregate, companies are reporting earnings that are 3.5% above the estimates, which is also below the five-year average. In terms of revenues, the percentage of companies reporting actual revenues above estimates, 62%, is above the five-year average. In aggregate, companies are reporting revenues that are 0.8% above the estimates, which is also above the five-year average. So the overall revenues, uh, the, the bottom line, has actually gone slightly up. And this is a reversal from qu quarter four of 2018. In quarter four of 2018, 
the revenues overall were down while the earnings per share were strong and now it's flipped. Now the earnings per share are weakened but the overall revenues are strong. So let's interpret that for a moment. There's been some cost cutting going on in the corporate world. They're cutting back on employee expense. A lot of large companies have announced layoffs and, and severance packages and things, trimming down the workforce. And I've shown also in many an article in 2018 how the overall, per, the overall percentage of people working in the workforce is lower of the available adults since 2008. Even though we've had some good job prints, we have not recovered all those jobs we've lost since 2008. Part of that is because we haven't had enough jobs recovery and also because we have so many people coming into the country that we're not creating enough jobs to keep up with all of the immigrants from around the world that are entering the U.S. as well. So the population is growing faster than the jobs growth and we still haven't recovered from 2008 the jobs that we lost overall. And so there have been a lot of cuts continued cuts in the labor force, cuts in the, all over the supply chain trying to reduce costs. And so the earnings per share now have gone up a little bit, but the revenues, uh, I'm sorry, the revenues have gone up a little bit, but the earnings per share are now coming down. So basically what that means is both on earnings and a revenue perspective, the last quarter and a half, companies really haven't met their mark overall in the economy. And that's a sign of a slowing economy as well. Here are the S&P 500 earnings above in line below estimates. The red is below estimates, the green is above estimates, and the yellow is in line with estimates. So you can see utilities getting hit particularly hard with about 40% below estimates. Real estate materials, financials, consumer staples. Uh, information technology has turned around quite a bit actually since the beginning of the year. I think because it got hit the hardest in quarter form, it's rebounding a little bit, maybe reversing to the mean a little bit in terms of some some of the companies like Apple may have fallen a little bit lower than they should have, may have fallen to 10, 11 times earnings per share. Maybe that's a little bit low for really good technology companies. So we've seen a little bit of a recovery in the information technology space, but a lot of the space is still fairly weak. You can see a lot of red here. This is weakness in the economy. S&P earnings growth quarter four, 2018. As we see, energy did well. Everything else eh, kind of did okay. Utilities down, materials down, uh, and as you can see, the today numbers in a lot of cases are below the December 31st numbers. So that's continued weakness in the economy. That's basically all I wanted to show you guys today. It looks like this is a very tepid recovery. Uh, the, the earnings are down even though the revenues are slightly up and the revenues were down last quarter. So that's basically going to, if this continues through March, that's going to be two straight quarters of missed earnings and missed revenues for the economy. And so that is a strong signal that we're having some weakness. And I think that's why we're seeing more risk in the bond markets and that's where we're seeing more volatility in the stock markets. If we look over the last month here on the stock market chart, you can see it's gone up, but you can see that the, that the volume hasn't been all that strong. You've actually had some, some selling volume here mixed in and the overall buying volume hasn't been super strong. As of late, I think the buying volume went up a little bit here around the 1st of February. But overall, if you look at the rate of change, this is acceleration. It's been very tepid, it's been very even, and the overall volume has been very even. So this is not a strong recovery. This is not the recovery that we would hope for on the back of strong consumer sales numbers as of fourth quarter, the holiday season. And this is not indicating that corporate America is going strong so far in 2019. I think this is indicating, this is sort of a, I wouldn't call it a dead count bounce, but it's a very tepid bounce. And most likely we're gonna head back down again. We're gonna have some challenges in the stock market, challenges of corporate earnings going into Q2. We'll monitor that. I don't know if that means we're headed into recession yet, but we didn't see a strong bounce off of that really tough fourth quarters. That tells me we may be near the, really near the end of this stock market bull cycle. That's it for today, everyone. This is Robert. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and please sign up for the newsletter on goldsilverpros.com. This has been a Gold Silver Pros production. Please subscribe to us on YouTube and sign up for our newsletter on goldsilverpros.com.